Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to create a Sourcefire RNA policy. So you'll see the first thing here, we're logged on to the Sourcefire 3D dashboard. Um, and we hit Policy and Response, we'll go to Compliance, Policy Management. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is create a blank policy for what we want to accomplish here. Alright, so this comes up, you'll see on the right hand side, we have the option to click on Create Policy and give it a name. So give it some information. We're going to call our new policy spyware detection and obviously always put in the description guys so you remember why you created something in the first place but more importantly so other admins that actually log on know why you created it in the first place. Alright so we'll click on save. <coughs> Alright so let's edit that policy just to show you now down below there are no rules currently active for this policy. So let's hit rules on the top menu here and we're going to go in and create a new rule and you'll see on the right hand side again we have the create rule option. So let's go ahead, we'll click on create rule, we'll give the rule a name now. So this is the rule that we're going to create that's going to be part of our spyware detection policy. We'll call the rule new spyware, again, for your rule, put in a description because the more you customize an, you know, an IPS system or any type of technology, um, the more you're going to forget why you create things. So we obviously have the option here to choose um, uh, or to put this rule in a group, but we'll leave that alone for now. So let's choose if an R RNA sorry, event occurs and meets the following. So a client application timed out, we want to add in a couple of conditions. So let's put in our condition. So if the IP address is, I don't know, let's say 20.1.1.0, <clears throat> let's add in another condition here too. And when I add in, or it's an application, and its application is, let's say, I don't know, let's choose squirrel mail. And actually, I want to change the actual operation here from or to and. So now we've created condition that say, if an RNA event occurs, a client application timed out and meets the following conditions, i.e. IP address is 20.1.1.0 and the application is squirrel mail. So that's what we're going to put in this rule and we'll go ahead and click on save. All right, so not, not too difficult. As long as you know where to find things, guys, it's pretty easy. So first thing now is we want to apply this rule to our policy. So let's go into policies. Let's edit our spyware policy or spyware detection policy and we'll click on edit. When we do that, you'll see the option below to add a rule. So let's click add rule. We'll go ahead and choose our new ungrouped rule, which is our new spyware rule, and we'll click on add. All right, so now you see we've actually created a policy, a blank policy. We've added a rule, and now we've applied that rule to said policy. And we go ahead and click on save, and you can obviously change a priority here. So what level you want it to actually sit on, we're going to put priority 5 in here. And then you can come in as well here on this point and create responses as well, as you can see on the right-hand side. But we're going to save that for another video. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for coming out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.